Are you at Exodus? The clock don't move yet. Let me move before it. Let's go to 14. Chapter 14 and verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord. You see that? Verse 14. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. 15. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. Did you see that? That they go forward. I love the King James. Let's go to 16. But lift thou up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it. I don't know if I, you, did you see what God said to do? Stretch your hand, Moses. You stretch your hand, lift the rod, and divide it. My God, the word today is the path is made. Can you help me with that? You want to be a preacher today? Just pitch your voice. I said, The path is made. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, the path is made. Egypt reminds me of the modern or the mystery Babylon. You have to know where you live. It reminds me of the mystery Babylon. They treat the people bad. Whip them. Double their work for less wages. Come on, somebody. Persecute them. But watch this now freedom came and it's okay we're leaving god said let my people go and they left but as you read the bible said god had to talk to the people to hold their what peace you following me why should they hold a peace because there was an uproar there was a there was a threat of fear because pharaoh was coming back come on somebody mystery babylon is a wicked place they treat them bad tell them treat them all kind of way hallelujah and when they get out they want retention but tell pharaoh loose me to loose me to loose me you got to show this a lost man. Shaka tamana kamana. So God said to Moses, what are you crying to me for? I know everybody is afraid. Everything locked down. The pressure is on. And it seems like your back is against the sea. Let me say sea, pastor. A God Almighty, God, there's nowhere to go. And it seems like most of them couldn't swim. So there was a turmoil. Come on, somebody. But God said, tell them to hold their peace. After all, the rod that Moses is got it was in Egypt where God used the rod to do miracles signs and wonders so how come now Moses have the rod in his hand but this he somehow forgot God said this is still a part of it this is still a part of the plan movements is a part of the plan somebody said the path is already made the bible said when moses stretched forth his hand the path is the, the, the red sea path and they crossed over on dry you're not saying amen somebody said dry land somebody said dry land I'm gonna conclude it before I begin the part is made for the world revival city somebody say amen the part is made for the world second Kings 2 verse 8 Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters and they were divided hither and thither so that they 
two went over on dry ground. Did you see that there? I love those who are doing that tonight. God bless them. Look at it again. He took his mantle. God Almighty. He came to a water body. Hallelujah. And they wanted to cross. And he took off his mantle and wrapped it and smote the water. And the water gave way. Somebody said the path is made. Elijah was a little rookie, a protege, a novice coming up under Elijah. Come on, somebody. But somehow Elisha knew that God was about to take Elijah. And he said, You know what? Let me cling to him. You want to know the path? Cling to the visionary. Am I talking to somebody? If you can't see clear, talk God Almighty. You have to go higher in God. If you can't see down there, you have to get higher so you can see over. How do you see over? Follow the visionary. Even though Elisha couldn't explain every dream, he couldn't do everything. My fact, I don't hear one miracle about Elisha before Elijah left. You're not saying amen, but soon as they cross, the Bible said God took Elijah and his mantle fell. Oh, and Elisha took up the mantle. I'm here to tell you it's time for you to take up the mantle for the world revival center you're trying to tell me what to preach but I ain't gonna do it I got bucket in the crowd shaka bakata God set you up tonight. Yeah, you, sh you shouldn't come, but you're already here. So might as well take logos. You might as well take Rima. Somebody said, take it. The path is already made. As soon as Elijah got the mantle, you know what he did? He said, let me test this. If I did get the double, and he took Elijah's mantle and he wrapped it like his father, his spiritual father. Don't criticize me when I begin to walk like my pastor. When I begin to talk like my pastor, Elijah did it. And when he wrapped the mantle and slapped the water, the water went hither and thither. I come to tell you tonight if you follow the visionary, the water. We'll have to go hither and thither. It can't stop us. The Holy Ghost is moving and you can't stop it. The gospel is preaching and you fear you can't stop it. Somebody say amen. amen. You know what Elisha did? He followed the old path. He followed the, the path of God. But watch this. Elisha wasn't all that young. So how come he follow like a student like that? The Bible said there were some children teasing Elisha about his what? I didn't plan to do it. It just happened. It just happened. But he followed the whole path and the double anointing reached him. Can I talk to you, woman of God? Anyway, your, your pastor go, just follow. If she turn left, turn left. If she turn right, turn right. Oh God, if she cough, cough too. You're not saying amen enough. You want some gentle Jesus, meek and mild. But God tell me to tell you the path for the world revival city is made. It's time to follow hard. The Bible says follow hard after God if you want to get dreams and vision and interpretation follow my God when, when, he, when he hit the water what did he say you know your Bible he said where is the Lord God of Elijah is daddy even though his father was taken he didn't pick up himself I said it's my time now his new vision now his new era is 2022 I well with the whole part no he said where is the God of Elijah and when he said that the water obeyed I tell you today if you just stand up on your feet I said Lord where is the God of my pastor where the God of my bishop if you just pray that right now God will make the path for you God said the path is already made 
shake him on you want a new path? You have to work with God's blessing. The path is already made. So just follow after God. The Bible said Peter, the troublemaker, he was on the boat with his brothers. And they saw Jesus coming like a ghost walking on water. Shamanaka. It looked impossible. But only because Jesus was doing it, Peter could do it. Try to walk on water without Jesus there doing it. You sink. Shh. Try to go to Florida without your bishop there. You sink. But God sent him there so that you can follow. You're not saying amen enough. Yeah. He sent him there and sent her there so you can follow. Oh, the moment Peter stepped out, he said, Lord, bid me to come. If it's you, my God, bid me to come. Anybody here got the Holy Ghost? Somebody said, Lord, bid me to come. Begin to move your feet. Say, Lord, if it's you in Florida, bid me to come. You're not saying with me. You're trying to mock me to the... I said, stand up on your feet. I said, Lord, if you're in Florida, bid me to come. Bid me. Sit down. Revival is on in Florida. Every time you look, somebody getting baptized. Every time you look, somebody getting added to the church. Because we bid them to come. We bid them to come. Lord, send the men. Lord, bid the women. Lord, bid the blacks. Lord, bid the whites. Lord, bid the Jews. Bid the Gentiles. Somebody say, Lord, bid my children. Bid my daughter. I dare you to call one of your person's name now. You got a cousin that's not saved. Call him now. Say, Lord, I bid Curtis. I bid Andrew. I bid Malik to come. You don't want to follow me, you know. It's all right. I say I got back at you. Lord, bid them to come. Let them come and get baptized. Come and get saved. When they hit the water, the water separated into two different water. <laughs> the more I follow in the path, is the more I get clarity. The more I get clarity. You know, in Genesis, Genesis chapter 1, verse 6, and God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of what? The waters of God Almighty. And let it divide the waters from the waters. You're not saying amen or nothing. You know that Florida is the only state I see that part two body of water the Gulf of Mexico and Atlantic you ever look at the map I said check it out yeah my shaka man oh he said put the firmament to separate waters from waters you want to find where God is moving go to where separate waters from waters I begin to get it I said God Florida this thing is deep you know I said, God, you know, this thing is deep, you know. This thing bigger than us, you know, God. So you have to help us. Give us interpretation. Come on, somebody. But you know what I want more than interpretation? Obedience to thy word. Give me obedience to thy word. Even when I can't see it, give me obedience to thy word. Shut up, man. God bless me so I can see it. But I'm talking to some people now that can't understand it. Just say, Lord, give me obedience to thy word. Come on, somebody. All you got to do is step in the path. The more you step in the path, is the more clearer you see you're not saying amen and the more God give you and you take is the more he bless you with more the Bible says he that is faithful over few he made ruler over plenty if God only give you a little bit and you don't bury it say God I don't want this I know who you are I'm gonna bury it the Bible says when he come he's gonna say oh wicked servant you should have given it to you sorry you're not saying amen enough I said, God knows how to do it. Only God knows how to do it. You're looking for a sermon where you can preach along with me. 
Hey, not doing that today. I'm preaching what said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. The path is made for the world revival city. Walk in it. I said, I begin to understand it more. Evangelist. Brooklyn, the gateway, correct? God moved the pastor, the executive pastor in Brooklyn. Watch this now. Glory to God Almighty. He moved him to Georgia. Somebody say Georgia. Where he promoted him. But guess what? Then he moved him to Florida. Somebody say Florida. Where he increased him. You have to get these signs. You have to get these wonders. Yeah, he got promoted in Georgia, but in Florida, he got the increase. You don't know when to shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Show glory. Let me connect it. Let me connect it. I said, God knows how to do it. You see, New York. This is how God help me now. New York City. New York, the word. I what seven letters. Am I right? Brooklyn is in New York, but Brooklyn ain't seven letters. Ah, oh, God Almighty, and Georgia is seven letters. Atlanta is seven letters. Florida is seven letters. Orlando is seven letters. But guess what happened? You see, in Orlando, in the middle of Orlando, is a word. Ah, but you will find the same word in Judges 18, verse 9 to 10. L A N D. The land is in Orlando. You're not saying amen. I'm showing you. Oh God, know how to do it. Somebody said, don't fight the glimpse. Somebody said, don't fight the glimpse. If you fight, me, give you more. World revival city is 16 letters. I know if you don't excite it, it's okay. I know Overseer Johnson is excited right now. World Revival City is 16 letters. One plus six is Shikamanda Kaba. Raka. Where is it in? All oh, do you're not saying amen enough, but it's all right. If you want to fight me, if you look at the world right there, you will see in the middle. Oh, R L. I dare you to Google now which state is O R L. I guarantee you, if you look it up, it wake you up. If you're asleep, in it, you look it up. In the middle of world, O R L. Google it. Say so which state, Siri, is O R L. Then after you say state, you say which city, Siri, Alexa, is O R L. That's Orlando. So I said, God, I love how you operate, God. And God said, Yes, the path is made for the world revival city. Ooh, only God knows for you, it, sister. Don't try to bind up God. You have to work with God. God, only God knows. God gave seven type of days. Let's go through them. The days of man, days of Christ, day of the Lord, day of righteousness, day of judgment, day of the Son of Man, and day of God. That's seven. Then God come back and give us seven time periods. Robo Shatamanda, eternity past, Old Testament, New Testament, rapture, tribulation, the millennium, and the perfect age. Say amen, somebody. Then God said, oh, I'm not done yet. There's some more sevens. There's seven world empires determined to be on the planet. The first one was Egyptian, where we just read in Genesis. After the Egyptian, you have the Assyrian, then the Babylonian, then the Medio Persian, then the Grecian. The last one was Roman. That's why you see so much Roman numerals on the courthouse. Have you paid attention? You don't pay attention, I can't give you more. After the Roman is God's kingdom. That's seven. So they miscalculate God. Russia, China, no matter where they come from, they can't rule the world. You're not saying amen enough. You're not saying God will not give his glory to another. You think God was done? 
God said, you think I'm done? I got more for you. Go into Revelation. You find seven churches. After the seven churches, you're going to find seven trumpets. You're not saying amen, you know. You're not saying amen with me, you know. After the seven trumpets, you're going to find seven seal. You say amen. Say amen. If you don't remember Revelation, say amen. amen. If, you think I'm, if you think I'm telling you the truth, say amen. amen. After the seven seal, they got seven vials of judgment. That's what you're seeing it pour out now. You back a shanda commander. You think God was done there? God knows how to do it. The part of the world revival city had some Jericho walls. But God said to us, to us, the children of Israel, He said, Go to Jericho and march seven times around it. I guarantee you, if some of you just make seven steps, something's gonna break in your life if you just make seven step oh back shut amanda god said mark seven time after the seventh time on the seventh time go seven more time what happened the wall came tumbling down God knows how to do it God knows how to do it stand up on your feet after the wall came down the children took the land you're not saying amen enough but it didn't stop there Elisha after he part the water he said I'm gonna test the double portion guess what a man named Naaman come from a rich city bishop and said to him alas I got some leprosy oh God almighty you know what Elisha did Elisha came back in the spirit of the Lord and sent his servant out I said go tell him to go wash somebody say wash somebody say wash somebody say wash seven times in the pool of John oh, God knows how to make the path why didn't say six times hey because he's working with god's kingdom when you're in the seventh you're working with god's kingdom you don't stay nowhere with them persecute you and treat you like dumb and tell you to make bricks without straw you don't do that we're not the base we are high god said we are royal priesthood a peculiar people no matter who look down who spit on us god gonna raise us up you're not saying amen enough i said god said what seven times anybody want prayer can come to the altar i'm gonna pray that the path is clear for you anybody want prayer come i'm gonna pray that the path is clear for you it's clear to god it's clear to the city you know Naaman was a typical obnoxious fellow did you know that Naaman? Naaman begin to quarrel I said, what's wrong with this so-called prophet sending me to Jordan River? Because Jordan River is not a famous one like theirs. He says, Abana, Abana is better in Damascus. <laughs> There's a next one called Farpar. He said, why don't he send me to Abana? Why don't he send me to Farpar River? Ah, because it's better. They don't understand when God moves it might look like a desert when israel turn a, a, a country it looked like a desert but right now it's fruitful hey, my son, don't calculate like man i said well the job market look like this and the house market look like this I, I, I don't think god is there if you do that you're gonna miscalculate god god almighty god sent him down to jordan river where he did not like well let me explain this part of the scripture now Naaman was a wealthy guy and he had servants I'm gonna explain it for you 
servants know how to humble themselves people who think they're entitled don't know how to humble themselves servants know. so the servant said master if the man had told you to do some great thing wouldn't you have done it he said yeah so he said so why are you not doing this one you know what the servant told him all the time you ordering me and I do it ah! somebody got it all the time you giving me direction so the one time it look like somebody less than you give you direction you're struggling with it if you only look at apostle yeah I'm not much to look at or to man but to God all I want to be is an oracle from God you think this word come light I didn't get so every time I go to sleep who told me to pray I said God what should I speak if they call me every time I close my eyes God said ah! I had to get up and write I said God is that it I don't hear nothing I go back ah! I had to get up and write again it's no play word God said the path is made to the city it's made why because there's fear on your pursuit but some people now don't realize he's coming the beast is trying to take your mind <laughs> New York is one of the only states you have to go over water to get out you're not paying attention New York City to get out of New York you have to part waters you have to understand how God do this thing begin to pray right now say Lord give me the path help me to walk through the path in the name of Jesus I place your people before you I release the path on you the steps of a good man are ordered I move your step I move it I place it in the path in the name of Jesus the path is made the path is made for you take it take it I rebuke every pharaoh every retention of the devil I lose you from the beast the path is made pray right now pray pray and don't let nothing hold you back don't let Pharaoh hold on to you I lose you from Pharaoh I place you in the path to the city Shakabata move her feet move her feet Lord Shakabahana in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the path is made for you God already made it for you woman of God your work will not go void God see your work he said I'm not neglectful to forget your labor of love I move you from Pharaoh I place you in the path Rekanda kashanda, rebo shoto mundo, romondo kono, reto manda, atamanda. I release miracles, signs, wonders on you. Your hands gonna do miracles. Your words gonna do miracles. Shamanda, I lose you from every tension of Egypt. I lose you. I part the waters. I part them. I stretch for the run. I part. Shekaba Shemonokono Renono Pray one Pray sister Shumbra Kasaka Shimbroko Shekebran Rakandukomana to walk out and look scary God knows but God has not given you the spirit of fear but of power I release the power on you Shakaban, break from Egypt. Lose you. I lose you from Egypt. I lose you. Shakaman, receive the path, the path to the city. Woo. Feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody else worship him. Let's worship him. Receive the path. 
the steps of a good man shaka braka shaka man oh ordered your steps are ordered trust and obey ramu kashana i remove every dark cloud every dark screen every fearful spirit i lose you i lose you shika pata rumanda kaseke ba ruba i place you on the path to the city in the name of Jesus lift your hand young man oh God have a plan for you young man I break you free from Egypt every Egypt mentality I break this young man is a serious young man for God Shake a brand, it's true evil. Shukamanda Kabraka Shaka Ruka move on him, God. Raise him up. I lose him from every Egypt old. I set him on the path to the city. Shaka Bagata Kamana. Fill him with your Holy Ghost with your fire. Like Elisha got double. Double in him, God. Double upon him. Shake up a hand. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, lift your hands. Ubaha shaka branda kaba. Rumanda kabra kashiki branda. Rumandi ki brundu koso branda. Only God knows how to do it. Ruba, some of you watching this pray and say, Lord, bid me to come. Bid me to come to your city. Bid me to come, God. Ramanda katakadagara. Ruba takobo sheke branda kaba. I release a blessing upon you. A bless in the city. Bless in the field. When you go out, when you come in, don't be fearful. God will bless you. He will bless your hand in his city. Shakabanaka. God told them, borrow from the Egyptian. And then I release the palm upon you. I break every hole from Egypt. And I place you on the path. She come, Mama, lift your hand in the name of Jesus. I lose you from Egypt. I lose you from the things of Egypt. I lose you. Raka shaka manda kaba. For who the sons are free. Woo! Freedom. Freedom to step. Freedom to walk. Hither and thither. Shakata na 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 na. Walk through on dry land. I place you on the path for the world revival city. In the name of Jesus. Ubaka shaka branda kaba. Rebo shuko bonu kobrona. God knows every heart, but God don't force man. I rebuke every hindrance, every hold up, every retention from Egypt. I lose you, man of God. God will bless you. He's gonna bless you far and wide in the name of Jesus. I place you on the path to the world revival city in the name of Jesus. Everybody, lift your hand and worship the Lord. God bless you today. God bless you.